Before I start this lesson, I do want to point out something. On most screens, you will see virtual keys similar to these at the bottom of the display. To access them, you press the function keys immediately below them. So, for example, if you wanted to access ABS, the absolute value function, you would press F3 just below it. However, to make all the keypad and screen details more visible, I need to split the calculator like this. So in the future, if I refer to a virtual key, you will see me press the function key all the way over here. Got it? Good. And now, let's get started. In this first video, I will be making some recommendations as to what your calculator settings should be. After turning on your calculator, press the menu key. Next, use the arrow keys to highlight the system manager icon. At this point, you can press the EXE key, which stands for execute, but I want you to notice the letter G here in this corner. You could also select the system manager by pressing the fraction key, A, B over C. See how there's a small red G above it? Let's press it. Press F5 to select the reset menu. Then F1 to reset all setup data. Yes, we do want to reset our setup data, so press F1 again. And exit. Let's go back to the main menu to fine tune our setup. Press the arrow keys until the run matrix icon is highlighted. or just press the number one. Next, press Shift, then Menu to go to the Setup area. Most of these settings are okay now, but I do want to take a look at Angle. If you are an algebra or geometry student, select degree mode. Trigonometry students will alternate between degrees and radians. Calculus students and above will almost exclusively be dealing with radians. For now, let's go ahead and press F1 to select degrees. For the complex mode, let's just keep it real for now. But we will change the setting in a subsequent lesson. To better display small decimal numbers, I recommend you change the display mode to normal 2. So press F3 now. Finally, press exit to return to the run matrix home screen. 